Beta. Zeta. That was an extraordinary display of power. How did you do it? It is time to pay them back in their own coin. Jetta, what have you done? Let it not be that you have tread on the path of evil. It is not in your place to seek for vengeance. Let the gods fight for us. You have just spoken like a fool. Only a coward runs away from battle, casting his hope on the gods. Great men and women face challenges and come out victorious. It is time to face them all. Cheta, what did you do? I just got myself ready for the battle ahead. They will all lick the dust of my feet. I've never seen this kind of thing in my life. Our king will never let her go away with this. She must be punished according to the tradition of this land. Tradition? What is tradition? I mean, what is tradition compared to a human life? We should be talking of how to go and take care of this sick guard. Mm. I don't know. What are we going to do now? <laughs> eh? I even overheard her saying that she's going to take over the throne of this land. It is not possible. It is not possible. A woman has never become the king of this land now. What are we now going to address her? A king or her royal majesty. I don't understand. Why are you talking like this? Does it mean you don't know the king again? Our king never let Cheta go away with this. No, it's because of her. Please. I am not a supporter of that. What you should be after now is how to take care of the sick guy and not him know. That's it. That's the only thing you can do. Father, I have never experienced such display of power all my life. Who would have believed that such a girl would come back for vengeance? Something has to be done. She must go down. She's the daughter of Lady Dika, a brother to my friend Ibe. I think there's need for me to speak with Ibe. Yes, Father, but it's a taboo and against our tradition for a witch to be living amongst your subjects. So we must find a way and bring her down. Yes, she must die. It takes something extraordinary to walk into my palace, threaten me and the elders, and even cast a spell over my guards. We must devise a means to bring her down. No matter how powerful she is, she is still a woman. She must go down. I will speak with Ibe. She must die. That your name again, 
uh, Cheta or something. Good. How dare you step into my compound without my consent? How? Now, tell me, what do you want? The seed of wickedness that you planted has grown into an Iroko tree. And I am here that you may reap from that tree. You are a mere woman. I don't think I will have to sit down here and listen to the rubbish you vomit from that your mouth. No. The painful cry of my mother echoes in my spirit every night and day. Her innocent blood that was shed without remedy, cries at the altar of the gods. You must go through the same pain that I felt when my mother's life was destroyed. Look at you. Just look at you. Even your brother, Oka, that has two legs, cannot stand before me and talk like this. Not to talk of you with one leg that you can now stand before me and talk and vomit nonsense. But now let me tell you, if you know how you got into this compound, quietly get away because I don't want to kill you. Because even if I do, even the spirits will reject you after life. Yes. So, just go out the way you came in, my dear. One more word from you, and I will make sure that your veins and your spines can no longer carry your bones. You are still talking. I cost your existence. Your being will no longer feel the taste of life. You will go through pains and agony until the day I decide to snap life out of you. Your end is near. Their condition is getting worse. I have tried all I could for all the solutions, yet there is nothing. They are losing their lives gradually. I don't know what to do again. You are the reason your children are in this condition. If you have sat them down and teach them not to make mockery of any person in a bad situation, maybe that will not happen to them. Please, I hope God, the girls are not angry with me. Help me beg the girls. I don't know what to do. Take this. Dip it inside water and bake them. Thank you, my child. May the gods bless you. that you intend to provide solutions to my subjects. I see hatred. I see anger. 
I see vengeance in your heart. You choose to pay back to this community what they did to your late mother. Please have mercy. Don't you tread on a path that is bigger than you. Else, it will consume you. Of course, you know there's no size or creature bigger than this sky. I plead you have mercy on your offenders. Long time ago, I saw you in my vision. I believe you would not rise to stop me. Because the day you do, that day will be your last day on this surface of earth. And let me warn you, don't you dare come close to anyone my rock shall fall upon. If you try it again, I will come after you and there will be no hiding place for you. And I'm sure you don't expect me to shut my eyes on evil. Mazibe, what kind of illness is this? What happened to you? Listen, guy, we need to return to the palace now. Please, this is really bad. Are we not going to offer him a helping hand? Mami, who does that? Do you want me to get affected? But well, I don't know what happened to him. Let's go. What shall we do? Joe, we can't do anything. When we get to the palace, we'll tell the king what our eyes saw. Let's leave here. Leave the king that wear the crown of this kingdom. What is the situation now? My king, if I must say the truth without misin' words, he might die soon. His condition is so critical that he begged for death to come. He can't just die. Father. We need solution. I'll leave my presence now. Thank you, my king. Long live the heads and wear the crown of this kingdom. What are you doing here? I sent you to bring Ibe. Where is he? My king, we found him lying half dead before his hut. What are you talking about? What happened to him? My king, there are a lot of sores on his body and he can no longer talk. Oh, my king, his life is in the hands of the gods. I'm afraid. Gods of our land. What, 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 what is happening? What is happening to my subjects? What is happening to this kingdom? We are no longer safe. What is happening? Gods of our fathers, what is happening to our kingdom? What? Your Highness, I need to see someone at once. She might have a solution to our problem. Who could that be? Bring her to this palace. 
immediately, my son. All right, Your Highness. Greetings. Whatever you seek from me, you shall not find. Do you want this evil to destroy us all? I know you have solution to this problem. What I don't understand is why you are shying away from me. The gods have their reasons for making you a sinner. When I saw this evil coming like a wildfire to consume us, I warned about it. What did you do? You took my words for granted and called it a word from a mere woman. Now you run after me to seek for my help. Let me tell this to your face. I have nothing to offer to you. Return back to your parents. May your days be blessed, my prince. Please, I beg you. To let my daughter be. I don't want her to get involved in all of this. She tried to help a little that was casted a spell, but Cheta confronted her and warned her not to interfere with her matter. Please, I beg you, let her be. Are you saying she tried to help someone that Cheta casted spell on? Yes, my prince. Not too long. She came back. Now you want to carry her again. You have to solve the problem somewhere else, not for my daughter. Oh. I'm sorry, but she's urgently needed at the palace. Yes. Ha. My prince, are you trying to force my daughter against her wish? This is him, woman, you know. You are not far from the truth. But we are talking about life and death. Your daughter is needed at the palace. Yes, my prince. What are you trying to do? Please now. my daughter. Leave my daughter. Leave my daughter. Leave my daughter. Leave my daughter. She seemed to know too much. Let her be. Now, Gat, you can leave. Yes, my, my king. king. Young girl, what do you know? Nothing. I have no solution to anything. I am not a man of many words. And I hate being pushed about. My son told me about you. And here you are, standing before me, the king of this land, and saying, you know nothing. My people are under siege. My throne is under threat. I beseech you, young girl, help me find solution. It is not in the place of the king to plead 
with a woman. But because my son says you have a solution, that is why I plead with you. Whatever it is that is befalling this kingdom is your fault. I warned your son about this forthcoming calamity that will befall you and your subjects, but he took my words for a joke, and the words I had to incur this wrath. Hear me and hear me well. I have no solution to this. Only the gods will intercede for you. Why are you proving otherwise? Even if you don't want to go, you can tell us what to do. I shall not speak a word to you or anyone. Find your solution yourselves. Are you out of your mind? I have been kind with you all this while. You dare not take my meekness for weakness. You shall remain in this palace until you change your mind. Joe, my king, take her to the dungeon. But father, I have made my decision. She will remain here until she tells me what I need to hear. I have come for you to help me plead with your sister. I was told that my children make more clear of her and she casted a spell on them. So please, I have come for you to help me talk to her. Please, help me. Whatever it is that brought you here, should take you out of here. My children have suffered enough. Whatever they might have done, please, I plead for their forgiveness. Please, have mercy on them. There is no such word like forgiveness. For long, you derived joy in my mystery. No one felt my pain. I will put tears in everybody's eyes. I will show no mercy to anyone. Leave here now. Please, please, please have mercy. I said leave here now. Cheta. Are you the one responsible for our children's misfortune? This is just the beginning. I will put tears in everyone's eyes. You used to be a loving and kind-hearted sister. When have you turned this heartless and not behave like a monster? The next time you make such statements, I will put blood aside and deal with you. Who cares about your useless opinion? I will deal with all of them! When has my sister become this bold to talk back at me? No. No. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Listen, it's not my intention to keep you here. But I know you have a solution to all the things happening in this kingdom. So why don't you solve the problems and end this wickedness? You have caused pain in my heart without any offense. I have told you I have no solution to your problem. Yet, you want to force me into a battle I am not ready for. Why are you scared? All right. Just tell me what to do and I will do it. And trust me, I will stand by you all through. I don't have a solution that you seek. Let me go. My mother is waiting for me. She is more important to me more than everything under the surface of the earth. Are you saying your mother is more important than everyone in this kingdom, including the king and I? Yes. Wherever a man's mind is, there is where his treasure is. 
You fight for your children while I fight for my life and that of my mother. Let me go. Like my father said, you shall remain here until you prove a solution. from all this, yet she refused. Only the gods knows what she is doing there in the palace. I cannot put up a fight with the king or his guards. I can't. Mother, get hold of yourself. I'm sure Ndo is fine wherever she is. I know the gods will keep her safe. I'm here to know what she has done to make the king to keep her. I'm yet to know. Mother, she'll be fine. You don't have to stress yourself much. Okay. I'll ask my brother to go and check up on her once I leave here. No. No. I will go to that palace myself. Uh -huh. If they like, let them kill me. No. I want my child here. I want my daughter. Mama, no. <sighs> huh. You don't have to risk your life. You know how dangerous it is for women to go to the palace without the king's invitation. Hmm? You don't have to risk your life. I will ask my brother to go and check up on her once I leave here. Where are you heading to? To the palace. It is time I take over the throne of this kingdom. This day shall be recorded in the history of this land. I shall become the king of this kingdom. Are you out of your senses? Are you out of your mind? Why do you want to destroy yourself? Don't you know that it, it is a taboo for women to visit the palace? That will change from now henceforth. I will not allow them to kill you. The same way they killed our mother. Never. <laughs> No one stands on my way. We must eliminate this maiden. She has proven herself a very strong failure. She is physically performing witchcraft. She has violated the traditions of our land. Many of our people are suffering from the spell she cast on them. Mazibe, my friend, is one of them. As we speak now, Mazibe's condition is worse than that of a dead man. The question here is, how do we bring this maiden down? I can never go down. Today, I shall pass my judgment on every one of you. This is the awaiting day of her judgment. 
heart of vengeance is as dangerous as a wounded serpent. She will stop at nothing until her aim is achieved. Hmm. My heart bleeds, yet I am held captive. What shall the righteous do? None of you here will declare himself righteous, and as such, all of you will partake in my anger. On this very ground, you passed a verdict that claimed the life of my mother and tagged her a witch. She pleaded for her innocence, but none of you, none of you listened to her because of the king's corrupt heart. You passed a judgment with a sentimental heart. None of you here, none of you listened to my mother's cry. Igwe, I will plead with you. Let the judgment be in my favor. You don't have to bother yourself, my friend, Mazibe. Hmm? My judgment will be in your favor. With what you have done, your sincerity is of no doubt. Uh, I am not very happy. What you are seeing here is just a token. You will remember I promised you something and I will do more. Yes. You've done a lot already. Thank you. I will do more. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Igwe, let me run along. Let me go. go, go. All right. Don't bother yourself. <coughs> Igwe. None of you care to investigate the truth. Yet, your king allowed himself to be bought over with a bag of rice. Shut up! Shut up! Your mother was caught on the spot. She did not have anything to defend herself. Can you recall how many times I tried to speak on that day? But your foolish guards stopped me. Have you asked yourself how she got those things? You called me, Papa. Oh. My daughter ran down to the palace. Tell the king to forgive me. He should also tell Cheta and the brother to forgive me. Their brother was innocent. I am the one that planted those devolved things in the farm land. Knowing very well that she will go there. So, if I get her, so I can let her that she's a witch. Please, tell the king that she is innocent. Papa, how could you have done this to that innocent woman? And run down to the palace and give a message to the king. Do that now. You 
they were too adamant about the whole truth. Because of a greedy fellow, you took a life. You never cared how we felt. Shut up, young girl. Before you face the wrath of the gods, do you realize that you are standing before the king of this land? I am not here for a jamboree. Who is next? Oh, no, no. Enough of this madness. Enough of this madness. What do you really want? Your life and the throne. The throne. Don't go there. Don't talk about the throne. Because the gods will even turn their back against you. Never in the history of this land as a woman got anything to do with royalty or the throne. So don't go there. It is so unfortunate that you will not live to witness it. But before I send you back to your ancestors, here is a word for you. I will be the next to wear the crown. Never. Woo! No! Apologies, my friends. Are you fine? Then get ready for the worst. Starting from your father, the king. This is bad omen. I think something is wrong in the palace. My prince, what shall we do now? Let's return to the palace immediately. Let's go. I have a message from your father. Say it. Yes. My father said I should tell the king that he was the one that planted the diabolic substance that Ugonta was accused of. Please, Cheta, forgive my father. He is in pain. Please, show some mercy. Please. I show no mercy to no one. No one is my friend. Everyone is against me, and I am against everyone. Please. It is my world against their world. My, my daughter, please, don't harm me. Please, spare my life. Please. Because I'm Because Return to the palace if I go out my life. Yes, yes. I, Cheta, will choose who I will have mercy on. Jesus it is not a force, it is choice. Carry your king and bury him. I don't want to hear any noise about it. 
I will be here tomorrow. Pass my message to everyone. I shall be crowned the king of this land. Does anyone object to that? Here, the evil girl is here. You go and free Nando. Tell her the evil she talked about is here, and I need her to save me. Make sure no one sees you. You, you, stay here. Yes, my you, friend. follow me. Yes, my friend. And the priest needs your help. Men are destroyed by their stubbornness. Get me out of here. I need to see my mother. Come and save the prince and the entire land. The prince will cut off my head if I don't come with you to the palace. He will feel I freed you on my own accord. Please. I am not going to the palace. I am heading home to see my mother. Please. Please, please, please. I beg you. I can't save anyone. I don't want to get involved in all this. She has come to avenge the death of her mother and she possesses a strong power from the goddess of the river, and A strong goddess and no one can stand her. Ubuchi, please save my life. I am the only son of Umuru. The only son of my parents. Please save my life. Let's go. Thank you. I cannot pass a night in this palace. Eh? I must run back to my father's house. If the king of this land can be killed by that wicked girl. I mean, who are we? Our lives mean nothing to her. Uh, how about the prince? Are we not going to save him? Are we not going to save him? Didn't you hear what happened to Oba? <laughs> who tried to save him? It's only the gods knows if he can survive it all. He will. He will surely survive it. This palace, this palace is not safe for anyone. I have to leave. I have to leave. I can't stay here before they kill me too. I cannot stay. I can't. Where would you be going to? To her father's house, of course. Please, please, let's go. Let's you, cannot go. Be, you cannot be going to your father's house. Where do you want to break in? Finally, I will wear the crown of this land. What a pleasant moment that will be. Enough of this nonsense. Stop! You have no business with the truth. I've been waiting for you. You seek the crown. I seek your life. <laughs> you seek the impossible. Yes. You have no business control of 
what you have. And your father chose to follow the pride path of men. Now, you seek for my help. You shall get none from me. Choose your words carefully. Like I have said before, never to attend to any of my subjects. Else, you will have me to contend with. Jeta, Obaye is innocent of all this. Let him be. He must go with me. That was at the palace today. What? What could a woman be doing in the palace? Hey, I thought it's some offense for a woman to visit the palace. All women are born equal, but some has chosen to be bigger and better than the rest. Cheta is not just a woman. Hey. My brother came to the palace because of you. Now you bring him back to me half dead. You should have thanked the gods that he is still alive. <laughs> you have killed me! You have killed me! Hi! It's alright, sir. Oh, what is the solution to his condition? Eh? Please, I want my brother back. It's so heartbreaking that I cannot help him. Cheta is the only person that can restore him back. This kingdom is into a new era. 
into a new era? I, I, what, what, what do you mean? This land will be governed by a woman come sunrise. Hey. This kingdom hey. should be ready to face hey. the worst situation ever. Your brother must stay here. He will be under my watch. Let's take him. Let's take him. Let's take him. Please, let's take him inside. Let's take him inside. Trying to stop me is as dangerous as death. What have you done to me? Now I can't even help you. Trying to stop me makes you my enemy. And it's bad that you will not be strong enough to witness my coronation. That is your fate. You have no connection with royalty. Even the gods will turn their back on you if you try to force yourself into royalty. I will always stand by the truth. Shut up! Even if I'm going to die. I said shut up! You're such a coward, and you will die in this condition. Life. 
Please. gone to the palace myself. Whatever that happened to him could have happened to me. Pico Mwam, will you allow your mother to die? Will you? No. Please me. In his condition and help him if you can. Mother. The battle to respond is like fighting with the god. I can't go that far. My life will be at risk. Hey. Take me! Take me! I want to go with you to the battlefield. I beg you. I'm sorry, my friend. I can't do it. We going to allow evil prevail. Gods of our land, are you asleep? I held the head that wears the crown of Umbiri. The gods are with you. My queen, I greet you. Oh no. Yes, my queen. I want you to pass my message to the town crier. Tell him to inform everyone in this kingdom that I don't want to see any sad face during my coronation. If I do, I will use the person's head as a stepping stool. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my queen. I will do just that as you have instructed. Ihuala! I hope you know the consequences of a mistake. Yes, I do, my queen. Cool. 
Appointed day, a day none of you ever thought will exist. Your imagination failed you to think that a woman, or should I say, an incomplete woman like most of you called me, will rule this kingdom. But you don't have a choice. Even the gods knew that I was going to become king. Someday, and that day is today. Everyone is waiting for me to be introduced as the king. Are you all ready? Yes. Very soon, at the coronation, I will tell you the name to call me. boy is dying slowly. Buloma, what are we going to do? Eh? Mm. Hey! <laughs> My brother cannot die. He's not going to die. He's all I have now. Hey. You know, I have to do something. Please, Mama, please help me. Let us take him to Cheta's place. Eh? I want to personally beg her to, to remove this bed she can't on him. Please, I'm here to seek help for my daddy Ines. Please, where is he go? Please, I want her to come with me. Please. My daughter has no solution for anything. Hey. Look at Oba, tying in my house. Just because he went to beg the king to let go of my daughter. Then he had an encounter with Cheta. Eh? He has been missing since morning. Oh, God. God. Anyway, I want you to know that we are thinking of sending him back to Cheta so that she will remove the spell she casted on him. Cheta can never have mercy on him. Not even now she's going to become the king of this land. Hey. What? What happens to the king himself? She killed the king yesterday. Hey! hey. Cheta killed him yesterday and instructed that he should be buried at the same time without any form of ceremony. And today she's going to be crowned the queen of this land. Hey! Hey! My daughter spoke of this evil. And now is here. What will become the fate of our people? Mm -hmm. eh? A woman sits on the throne of this kingdom. Hey! Gods of our land! Gods of our land, where are you? I thought you do not sleep nor slumber. Hey! What is going on? 
What is really going on? Hey!
here today a day when a new king will be crowned in Umudibi kingdom it is the first of its kind whatever that is happening here today is a divine arrangement by the gods my elders no, no. the people of Umudibi if the gods are in support of this who are we Object the will of the gods. My queen, please step forward for the proper coordination. By the power bestowed on me as the honor of this kingdom, I, before the people of Umudibi kingdom, I crown you the king of this land. Thank you. 
This is the end of it all. Pain and anguish will never leave us. Our lives now are in the hands of the gods. Henceforth, we are living under the ruling of a strange god. What will become of us in time to come? Gods of our fathers, I beseech you to direct my steps. Not help you. Moreover, I have not set my eyes on her since sunrise. Please, please, I have nowhere to go. The king is dead. A new king has been installed. Let me stay here until your daughter returns. My house is not big enough for you to stay. Eh? Cheta, her elder brother, was casting a spell on. I can't keep both of you here. Please, go back to the palace. Yeah, go Mama. back. Helping the prince won't really be a bad idea. I don't want to have any problem with anyone. Please, go back. Oh, Mama, don't say that now. He's still the prince, though. Eh? If Undo says my brother should stay here with her, that means she probably seems to have a solution to the problem. Let's just consider him now. Bia, mm? what is your problem? Oh, give me the... I told you I don't want any problem from anyone. Thank you, Mama. Especially from Cheta. Oh, give me. Mama, thank you. Please, please, please go inside. Mama, come and help us now. Mm? Today, as I wash my hands of this deadly evil perpetrated by my younger sister Cheta, just because I spoke the truth, she placed me on this unbearable condition, fighting for vengeance. 
God, I do not seek to avoid my mother's death because I know that vengeance is yours. Her ways are never pleasing to me. When you visit her with your anger, spare me because I am not a partaker of this evil. Forgive me and heal me yourselves. Oh God of our land. God of the gods, Osepolo, you are the maker and keeper of life. You are the father to the mother of creation. In your direction was all that was ever made is made. In you is the existence of mankind. How long shall we live with this evil that has conquered our land? How long shall the wicked rejoice over our misery? How long shall this evil feast on the flesh of your own creation? How long shall this evil derive pleasure in drinking our blood? You are kind and merciful. For long you have turned your back on us. I know you forbid and curse anyone that violates your ordinances. We have in many ways gone astray. I have come to cry to you that you put end to these practices. Come to our rescue. I beseech you to save us from this evil that has befallen us. Do not let us be consumed by the anger of a broken heart. Mercy, O Sepulchre. Mercy, gods of creation. Mercy is all I seek. Empower me to face this battle and save our people. I promise to bring back your children to worship you. I shall wait on this hill till you bring change and empower me to put an end to this evil. Hmm. Go and get Udo for me. 
I saw him heading towards Indo's hut. Hmm. Summon all the guards and get him for me. Anyone that tries to stop you, kill the person! Wait! I will go with you. And as for you, go to your houses. I will summon you all when I need you. I need to attend to important matter. responsible for your condition. Hey. What more can I say? Just because I tried to stop her from doing evil. She struck me and place me in this condition. I've been like this all this while. Hey, can't she restore you? I will rather die than to join her in her evil doings. If the gods cannot restore me themselves, then I will accept my fate and know that it is my destiny to die like this. Cheta. I came here to plead with her so she can at least restore my brother from the spell she cast on him. But what more can I say if her own blood can be in this condition? Hmm. Hello, Ma. If it pleases you, please help her dying so. Get me some water to drink. I am thirsty. I hope your sister will not also strike me or cast spell on me too. Huh. Even if it is the risk you are going to take, risking your life, just to help a dying soul, please do it. Get me some water. Uh, okay.
My Amoma and Edo the first. You are welcome to my house. How dare you keep my captive in your house? Are you out of your mind? I hope that you are aware that anyone that set free the captive of the Almighty should be prepared for battle. God forbid. I, I, I didn't. Honestly, I, I, I didn't. You are trying to set him free, right? Now, you will face my wrath. <laughs> For you, your life is in my hands. Naomi! Yes, my queen. You were chosen by the gods from origin, but you neglected the wish of the gods, and evil took the better part of the land. I'm happy you have come to retrace your route. Go back home and right the wrongs. Pay every man according to his deeds. I am willing to do the will of the gods. I sacrifice myself for it. Good. Across the river, you will see a bag at the foot of the tree. In that bag is, are the symbols. Use them and fight Cheta and bring peace to the land. I will do as you have spoken. It is time. Go and fulfill your destiny. Go. When she comes back, I'm oh going to this. I finished. Oh, I finished. I'm gonna wake up now. Going after a post belly man. 
No, thank you so much. Thank you, my good friend. Do not rejoice yet. He is selected for a bigger battle. But first, I need to lay my mother to the mother earth. Hey. Long live the queen of Umudibi. Thanks to the gods, you've come to show mercy on my father. Shut up. There is time and season. Under the surface of the earth. The time to live and the time to die. This is your reward for being wicked. It is time for you to join your ancestors. Naomi! Yes, my lord. Bury him alive. At your command, my lord. My queen, please have mercy on him. Please. Shut up! before I bury you alive as well. Never know that the day of reckoning will come. By your hands, you set my beloved mother ablaze. She begged for her life. You did not consider the cry of an innocent woman, and you sent her to her early grave. Now, your life is in my hands, and I can choose to set you ablaze. But I won't do that, because I want you to die slowly. I want to watch you die slowly. You will feel the pains that I felt. I will feed your body to the vulture. There is no such word like mercy. Naomi. My queen. It is time to visit Ibi. Yes, my queen.
For vengeance, you attacked your own brother, Cheta. Little did you know that he's a part to your end. Today, I cast out every evil spell on you. I call on the gods of creature to restore your soul, spirit, and body. I command the breath of life from the seven clans of the earth to restore you. Huh? He's well again. Huh? He's well. Hey. Huh? Hey. Huh? How do you feel? I feel all right. All the pains are totally gone. May the gods bless you. See. Henceforth, I shall call you Savior. No man is worthy of the praise of the gods. I did not heal you. The gods did. And that is because you have been chosen for a bigger assignment. I will do what the gods want me to do. What is my assignment? You and I have been selected to save the prince and to restore the glory of our people. How do we destroy our evil powers and practices? This is the will of the gods that we must follow. Tomorrow morning, we shall journey to the palace.
I am not here for you. I am not here to hurt you. Our Savior is here. She is here to set the prince free and the entire kingdom. We need to work together. And together, we shall restore this kingdom to its normal state and restore our glory. You need to work with me. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes, I'm with you. from the gods you can stand any force let us go to the palace and fight this fight once and for all if i am protected what about the rest her powers are next to none wait when the time is right we shall go oh here they come Oba, were you seen taking the toys? No. He was the only one that saw me. Yes. And he's now with us. You have done well. Gods of life and water, wind and sun, moon and stars. I beseech you to assemble the breath of life. I call on total restoration of your soul. Fresh life and body I restore back to you. Arise and get what rightfully belongs to you. It is time to get back your position. I'm fine. And you are strong. It is time to take back our land. I'm the weakest here. Strong. I'm fine. Thank you very much. How do we subdue that girl and her evil powers? She's our defender. The gods are with her. Let us work with her. Let us head to the palace. What is this for? It is the blade of the spirit. Only you can do it. Pierce it at any part of her body and her power will be neutralized. Are we ready for this? Yes. yes.
surprise, right? Your end is here. By the time we are through with you, here I'm on our to number to Lobokolo. How dare you set my captive free? You have traded to the point of no return. And you must die today! No matter how thick the night might be, light will always conquer it. You are the darkness and I am the little light that eliminates darkness. You have the chance to be a better being. Subject to light and surrender your darkness and all your evil practices. Else, you shall be destroyed. <laughs> your lives are like a plant. And I can choose to uproot it anytime I like. You have crossed my path and you shall die. <laughs> To her. She has paid her price. Life is not mysterious. This is her fate. Ah! I told you your end is here, but you wouldn't listen. Even if we treated your mother wrongly, you should have allowed the gods to fight your battle rather than taking laws into your hands. I go to Lumbe. I would have killed you when I had the chance. Now, who will you do to me? I told you not to fight. I should leave the battle for the gods. You refused. Now, look at what you have pushed me into doing. I have killed my own sister. My prince, take her to the evil forest and bury her alive. Because if, if she will get there alive. People of Umudibi, today is a glorious day. A day that the peace and joy of everyone is restored in full. A day that many will sleep with their two eyes closed. And on the same day, the king of this land shall be crowned. One blessed and chosen by the gods themselves. Ikenna. <laughs> my elders, my prince, I am happy that finally peace has returned in this kingdom. <laughs> my prince, please. The prince. Okay, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <it's red>. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm going to go to the water. 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 I'm going to go
Today, by the power vested on me as the honor of this kingdom, I crown you Igwe Zakuma the third of Umudibe. It's obvious that it's a bright thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to welcome you all to this new era. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An era where jungle justice will be completely abolished. An era where peace, light, and progress will be our watchword. Hell! He said. <laughs> After my father's offer, yes. my coronation will take place. And on that day, I will let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> You are a good man with a golden heart. How? I hereby appoint you as the youth leader of Umodi. I beg you not do it on your own. I beg you make we live and for seven. We don't for God's sake. We fight our battle.